We are counting down just minutes away from the first polls closing. We are all gathering here, so we ask ABC's Josh Elliott to give a kind of backstage tour of ABC's election headquarters. That's right, Diane. We are here in the nerve center of our election headquarters at ABC News, and what a nerve center it is. We do want to show you exactly where we will be parsing all the information tonight as it becomes available as we elect a new president. Here to my left, the insiders, as you see them, Matthew Dowd, Nicole Wallace, Donna Brazil, George Will, and Barbara Walters will be telling us what it means when a state turns one way or the other, what it means for tonight and what it might mean four years from now. To uh, the right, then, of our set, we also have our insider's desk. Remember, there are many key House and Senate races still to be decided, and they will be parsed and synthesized as well. Behind them, the banks of seats. We have our analysis desk and our ballot watch team. The analysis desk is really the first point of entry for the raw information, the exit poll numbers that will become the real numbers that you will see. And then you see the ballot watch team led by Pierre Thomas looking for any irregularities at voting and polling stations around the country. All of that information then flows, well, to our twin pillars of Rome, as George and Diane will then bring it to you. And as you can see here, technology will play a part. The information will spring from the floor. It's a huge LED screen, in fact, George, with a touchscreen in front of him, has the ability to tell us when a state turns, perhaps why it turned the way it did, county by county. Again, parsing it for you as best as we possibly can. Obviously, technology will be a star tonight. And to that end, social media, which has had an impact on this election, unlike any other, will have a place with us tonight as well. This is our social media corner, you see here. We'll have a touch screen, and Katie Couric will be with us tonight monitoring what you are talking about on Facebook and on Twitter as we have all come to see history tonight. Either a president will be reelected or the Republicans will have taken back the White House. And we do hope you join us all here at ABC News to the very last.